Jason Robertson with a lethal blow and heart-stopping victory for England in extra time. I faced a lot of discrimination over the years as a, as a player. Um, I faced a lot of racism, especially in my early days, which is quite a horrible feeling. Um, you know, to be going out there and doing something you love and to be singled out just because of the colour of your skin. You know, we've seen it recently, uh, you know, in football with England and, you know, discrimination has no place in sport whatsoever and it's it's so important that we uh, we stand up and we, we make it known that uh, it's not acceptable. You know, we see players taking the knee, we see players being booed for taking the knee and that has start the conversation. It keeps the conversation going that things still need to be done. It's vital that athletes use their voice, you know, to make a difference um, because it does make a difference. And the more athletes unite um, when it comes to discrimination of all kinds, that we speak up, that, that we do everything we can to, uh, to make it better for others because others don't have a voice like we have. And it's important while we've got this platform that we use it. Now that Robinson has stopped playing professionally, he is tackling discrimination against all its forms across the world. In this eternal fight for equality, the voice of sport is pivotal. Yeah, since I've retired, you know, I've been trying to use sport for good myself in, in lots of different programs that I've been involved in because I know the power of sport. If I can inspire one child, just one child, that could have been the same as the school teacher, you know, when I was 10 years old, did to me. And look at what I did, you know, to come from a deprived area, to play rugby league for so long, 10 years, to come into rugby union, to play on Lions, to captain England, to win a World Cup. I mean, you only need to inspire one child.